It was the secret Clinton campaign communication that actually was it. Here's an interesting one. Secret Here's Donald Trump reading what he said and what a Russian media outlet reported was an email to Hillary Clinton from longtime advisor Sidney Blumenthal regarding Benghazi. Blumenthal writes a quote. This just came out a little while ago. Clinton was in charge of the State Department and it failed to protect the United States personnel at an American consulate in Libya. He meant Benghazi. If the GOP wants to raise that as a talking point against her, it is legitimate. In other words, he's now admitting that they could have done something about Benghazi. In fact, those words were not Blumenthal's. They were text copied directly from a Newsweek story on Benghazi written by Kurt Eichenwald, who spoke to CNN this morning. It is impossible to look at the Blumenthal email and not realize that this 10,000 words that follows um, are from Newsweek. They say Newsweek, Newsweek, Newsweek. It is not clear why Trump, and Trump has not explained why he seemed to be parroting false information that had only been published by Russian outlets. The email is one of thousands from Clinton staffers released by WikiLeaks in recent days. On Friday, the Department of Homeland Security publicly identified Russia as the likely culprit for the hacks of the DNC and other Democratic Party officials. Today, the White House vowed a proportional response, but did not say when or how. Hackers have also attempted to access the voter registration systems of some 20 states. Four weeks to Election Day, 33 states have now asked for help protecting their voting systems. U.S. officials have yet to blame Russia for these hacks, but say they are consistent with Russian methods. We deserve answers. Still, the candidates sharply differed on that assessment at Sunday's debate, with Hillary Clinton saying Russia is trying to win the election for Trump. We have never in the history of our country been in a situation where an adversary, a foreign power, is working so hard to influence the outcome of the election. And believe me, they're not doing it to get me elected. They're doing it to try to influence the election for Donald Trump. And Trump, who has repeatedly praised Russia's leader, questioning that Russia is involved at all. She doesn't know if it's the Russians doing the hacking. Maybe there is no hacking, but they always blame Russia. And the reason they blame Russia is because they think they're trying to tarnish me with Russia.